Welcome back everyone, it's now time for part 2 of my 12th game of Jeopardy for the Sega CD console. I'm currently off and running with the most money at $3,100. Bar Barbara has $500 and we've yet to hear from Robert, but I suspect that we will pretty soon. I'm currently leading the game with $3,100 as I said, and I'm going to, and I have the selection at the moment, I'm going to go with Art for $200. Questions about Medicare? For two hundred dollars, the answer is Annabelle Karachi was just was one of the was just one of the many who painted the Holy Family's flight into this country. Oh. Contestant number three. Call now or visit us online to get this free answer guide from United Healthcare Medicare Solutions. Oh, and Robert has no clue. I'm sorry. That's wrong. She passed us there. Contestant number two. Egypt. Correct. No. That would have been wrong to use that. Potpourri for $500. Late Spanish classical guitarist whose honors included the Grand Cross of Isabel. Contestant number one. Who is uh, Elliot Fisk? No. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Andre Segovia. Hope for three hundred dollars. Here is the clue. A car's odometer measures this. Contestant number one. Uh, what is distance? It is yes, distance. That's correct. Speedometer measures speed. Uh, Popery 400. For so $400. In 1990, Epo Newman became the first person to fly an ultralight aircraft across this ocean. Contestant number one. I believe it was the Pacific Ocean, but let me look it up just to be sure. Pacific Ocean. Oh, oh I'm no. Sorry. That's wrong. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I remember this because he flew over to the Alaska. Crap. It's okay, though. I've got a, got a pretty big lead. Contestant oh, number two. Banquet room. Oh. Right. Oh, oh. too late. You know, that was it. Well, must it be a lab Yep, two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. Complete Kentucky State motto: United we stand. What is divided we fall. Contestant number one. <clears throat> United we stand. Divided we fall.
Yes, that's correct. Um, art for three hundred. For three hundred dollars. This American artist thought of his paintings as music, calling them arrangements and symphonies. Contestant number two. I want to go No. Said American artist. No, I'm afraid that is not. Unfortunately, correct. Barbara doesn't know it. No. Contestant number three. I don't know what you. And Robert doesn't know either. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? American artist. Thought of his paintings as music, calling them arrangements and symphonies. James Whistler. Oh, I have this question. Um, Art 400. Daily Double! The clue? It's the Daily Double. Okay, now. What would you like to wager? I have 2,700. 2,700 compared to Barbara's 800. Um. Um, I'll do a thousand. For a thousand dollars then, here's an art, here's a clue. Born in a Russian Jewish ghetto in 1887, he often painted Jewish images like Rabbi with Torah. Who is? Oh yeah, yeah. Lorna Sokolovsky. Man, it's a little bit hard to think. Ian Boyd like that. I'm not holding. I'm not pointing fingers at him. No. Wrong. At least you know. Yeah. Conversation is only endearing Mark Chagall. Shoot. Talking about what? Dark. Dark. I just don't call you. Uh, Art 500. For five hundred dollars. What the title eaters ate in Van Gogh's work? No. Contestant number one. Sister. Huh? Surprise, surprise. What are you doing here? Hey, something to mark. Oh, uh, apple tea and your lime jello shots. Lots are good. Well, it's good to see you having lost your sense of humor. What is the potatoes? I don't know. 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 Back up to 2200. I'm not dead. Yes, select again. Now all we have left is the Animal Kingdom. I'll take the Animal Kingdom for three hundred. For three hundred dollars. Answer. Mature female cats are known by this regal term. Contestant number one. What are queens? Queens it is. Select. Uh, for four hundred. For four hundred dollars. The Argali, A R G A L I, are the largest wild ones of these animals. One type is named for Marco Polo. Contestant number one. Yeah, 
Okay, Ian, do you want 500, 100, or 200? 200. For $200, the answer is... Like it's close relative to the octopus, the Argonaut has this many arms. Contestant number one. What is eight? Got it. Yes, that's correct. 500. For $500. Despite its name, the pronghorn antelope native to this continent is not a true antelope. Contestant number one. You say Africa? Yes. No. Sorry. You can't remember the badge belongs to? No. Contestant number two? Either way, I'm going to be leading going into double jeopardy. And it was my and it was my second guess, North America. Yes, that's correct. And now I have twice as much money as Barbara now. Twenty six hundred to Barbara's thirteen. And now the last clue for a hundred in the Animal Kingdom. For one hundred dollars. Let's take a look at the answer. Most spiders spin these, but a boa spider spins a line of silk with a sticky ball attached to trap prey. Webs. Contestant number one. Web. It is web. It is webs. That's correct. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm at 2,700, Barbara has 1,300, and Robert is in the hole at minus 500. So he goes first in double Jeopardy. In double Jeopardy, there are two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. Our six categories are the 20th century. A whole category about plants, holidays, okay. the South, rainy songs, R A I N in quotation marks, and musical instruments. Contestant number three. I know these categories are my second game. It's so hard. It was so long ago, though. Quality of two hundred. Let's take a look at the answer. His birthday was first observed in the late 1700s. Some celebrated on February 11th. Some February 22nd. Contestant number one. What's this thing? You'll have 60 Pins. seconds to provide your response. Oh, uh, um. Who is George Washington? It is yes. Washington. That's correct. Yep. And we're going to take another break here, and I'll see you guys for part three.